the Joe Rogan experience. Uh, so one quick Mitch Hedberg story. So I opened up for Mitch Hedberg like 22 years ago, and he comes up to me after the show and he goes, "Hey, Artie, man, you're a fat guy." I go, "That's what he said." I go, "I, I could lose a couple, but what, what are you talking about?" He goes, "I wrote a joke that um, uh, I can't do because I'm not fat, but I give it to you." I go, right. he goes, "He goes, you know, when you're a kid." And they tell you to wait a half an hour after you eat before you go swimming. And I'm like, yeah. He goes, you should say you've never been swimming because it's never been more than a half an hour since you last ate. <laughs> and I go, that's a great joke. Can I, I can have that joke? He goes, yeah. So then he comes back and he was smoking a lot of weed. So he comes back totally serious. He goes, hey, man, you're right. That is a good joke. I'll make you a deal. If I gain like 100 pounds before you do that on TV, I get the joke. <laughs> I'm like, all right, whatever. So, okay. So cut to like a month later. I'm with Norm McDonald having dinner with people. And Norm does that joke about me. He goes, hey, man, it's uh, Artie's never been swimming. It's never more than a half an hour since he last day. And I'm like, where the fuck did you hear that joke? He goes, he goes, I heard a fat guy do it at the comedy store. I go, really? So I see Mitch two weeks later. I go, Mitch, what the fuck, bro? You gave me that joke. Norm said he saw a fat guy do it at the comedy store. So he's all fucked up. And he goes, hey, Artie, man, you know, listen, I'm sorry. You know, I, I, I get fucked up a lot. I forget shit. I probably gave that to a lot of fat guys. <laughs> He was the weirdest <laughs> joke writer ever because it was all silly non sequiturs. Uh, yeah, yeah. Everything was a non sequitur. No Man. bits transferred into Just other bits. Joke, 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 and joke. It's great to watch Mitch. Like, I, I, I get such a kick out of watching him now uh, do a set where he starts off bombing. Like, like, he'll tell a joke and the audience doesn't get it. Yeah. And he'll go, like, okay, you guys don't like me yet. Uh, I'll keep trying. And then he gets them. And then the first big laugh he gets, he's like a little kid. He goes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was my favorite to listen to i listened to his album on the way to the airport oh because yeah. lax traffic so horrible and he just but it was laughed. so silly yeah it's silly, silly. And, just, and, just, yeah. and smart at the yeah, same time smart and silly my, one of my favorite jokes ever is uh somebody said do you want a frozen banana i said no but i want a regular banana later so yes <laughs> It's such a fucking ridiculous know, it's, joke. It's, it's perfect. It's so ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, well, he did a joke once. He did this joke on TV somewhere, and you can almost tell he paused before he did it because he got in a lot of trouble. He goes, "My FedEx dealer is a my, my FedEx man is a drug dealer, and he doesn't know it." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's like fucking. You know, or how about like I used to do drugs. I still do drugs, but I used to too. <laughs> Well, the crazy thing about him is he would do, you know, an hour, 10 minutes of that. Like, how the fuck do you remember what you said and don't say yeah, when exactly. you're on heroin? No, no, no. Well, well, that's the thing. I forget shit all the time. Like I said, like I bet on the other team. Yes. With the bookie. Right. I would bet on the other team. But he was high when he was doing shows, right? And, and, and at the end, the last time I saw Mitch was two weeks before he died at Stern. And then I went to go see him at Caroline's. And it was like, you're watching this. This genius shell, just, a shell of yeah, who he used a to sh be. literally yeah. a shell. Yeah. Like like he was he was you know taking drugs from people in the audience, pills. Oh, I took a birth control pill once because I thought it was a Vicodin. Some oh, woman gave me a pill. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I didn't have the baby. It worked, <laughs> but uh, he was like but scratching at the walls and shit. I'll give you I'll give you mm. one more quick norm thing. So when Dirty Work came out, it got awful reviews, and uh, the reviewer in my hometown paper said Artie Lang has all the charm of a date rapist. That's what it said. Okay. So Norm goes like this. He goes, hey, man, that's fucking great. I go, why? He goes, a date rapist has to have way more charm than a regular rapist. <laughs> 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 and that oh. made me feel better. Oh. <laughs>